Since the old days, people used sun and stars for navigation. At first, they navigated only by means of landmarks. Mountains, trees, or leaving trails of stones. After a while people invented technology that helps them to find the way around the world. Maps, compasses, astrolabes, and calipers are among the early tools used by navigators. But today, more accurate satellite navigational systems are available. GPS or the Global Positioning System is such system invented by the U.S. Department of Defense, in collaboration with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It is a satellite navigational system, predominantly designed for navigation. Originally consisting of 11 orbiting satellites, the GPS official name Navstar was launched by Department of Defense in 1978, strictly for military use. Initially developed for the military, GPS was made available for public use in 1983. The Korean airline Flight 007 tragedy, in which, Soviet fighters shot down a Korean civilian aircraft lost over Soviet territory, led to the removal of security classifications by then United States President, Ronald Reagan, and allowed global positioning system to be used by civilians. In 1990, the GPS facility for public use was temporarily suspended, as the military needed more receivers to enhance its use for military purposes, in the ongoing Gulf War. It was made available for public use in 1993. Simultaneously, it was decided to provide this facility free of cost, all over the world. By 1995, Global Positioning System had become a considerably advanced navigation system. It had achieved full operational capacity, and the number of satellites had also increased, thereby increasing the availability and accuracy of the technology. Since 1995, GPS history has seen considerable technological advancement. More satellites have been put into orbit, increasing both availability and accuracy. Previously, GPS could locate a subject within 100 meters. That accuracy improved to finding subjects within 10 to 15 meters, and, at present can be measured within centimeters in some cases. The GPS system was developed to meet military needs. But new ways to use its capabilities in everyday life are continually being found. Today, GPS is used in aircrafts, ships, cars, construction equipment and many other applications. GPS consists of three main segments, space segment, control segment and user segment. This part consists of 24 satellites, manufactured by Rockwell International which are launched into space by rockets, from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Each of these 3,000 to 4,000 pound solar-powered satellites circles the globe at about 12,000 miles, making two complete rotations every day. There are six orbital planes each having four satellites. The orbits are tilted to the equator of the Earth by 55 degrees so that at any time, anywhere on Earth, there are at least four satellites visible in the sky. The satellites continuously orient themselves to ensure that their solar panels stay pointed towards the Sun, and their antennas point toward the Earth. Each satellite carries four atomic clocks. Control segment consists of five worldwide unmanned base stations that monitor the satellites to track their exact position in space, and to make sure that they are operating correctly. The stations constantly monitor the orbits of the satellites and use very precise radar to check altitude, position and speed. Transmitted to the satellites are ephemeris constants and clock adjustments. The satellites in turn, use these updates in the signals that they send to GPS receivers. The user segment consists of user receivers which are handheld or can be placed in a vehicle. All GPS receivers have an almanac program into the computer, which tells them where each satellite is at any given moment. The GPS receivers detect, decode and process the signals received from the satellites. 
The receiver is usually used in conjunction with computer software to output the information to the user in the form of a map. As the user does not have to communicate with the satellite there can be unlimited users at one time. A GPS receiver's job is to locate four or more of these satellites, figure out the distance to each, and use this information to deduce its own location. This operation is based on a simple mathematical principle called trilateration. Knowing distance from one satellite places you somewhere on a spherical surface that's centered around the satellite. Knowing distances from two satellites places you somewhere along a circle that's between the two satellites. Distances from three satellites usually intersect at two points. The Earth itself can act as a fourth sphere only one of the two possible points will actually be on the surface of the planet, so you can eliminate the one in space. Receivers generally look to four or more satellites, however, to improve accuracy and provide precise altitude information. There are three basic functions of GPS. Give a location, point-to-point -point navigation and keep a track. A GPS unit accurately triangulates your position by receiving data transmissions from multiple orbiting satellites. Your location is given in coordinates, latitude and longitude or universal transverse mercator. If you have the coordinates for the destination you're headed for, a GPS can give you a straight line, point-to-point -point bearing and distance to your destination. Since trails rarely follow a straight line, the GPS bearing will change as you go. The indicated distance to travel will also decrease as you approach your goal. One of the most useful functions of a GPS unit is its ability to lay a virtual breadcrumb trail of where you've been, called a track. You can configure a GPS to automatically drop trick points over intervals of either time or distance. To retrace your steps, simply follow the GPS bearings back through the sequence of trick points, 